spiritual awakening. How to unlock your full brain capacity. Always remember nothing is as it seems because life can be very inspiring when we shed our limitations. Thus we live. There are three sides to you, a human being. Be spirit enjoying the experience of being human. However, because of nonsense we have separated from spirit but now we shall reconnect and see divine light heart center which is your link with spirit and universal intelligence i.e. love. Frankly there is no such thing as spiritual awakening because in essence you are awakening the human side to the realization that spirit is always present. You are not spiritual. However, you are spirit the rest is semantics. You are spirit anyway so there is nothing to be but yourself. As for full brain capacity well, that is part and parcel of being awake with spirit. Thus your primary and sole concern is to realize your full potential through spirit. Do not get bogged down in hyper-nonsense but accept the endless possibilities that shall unfold as you grow with spirit. You shall find out to that what you as a human think of as full brain capacity is something else entirely. However, it is imperative to possess optimal psychological health. As we have been taught by Boss Lowe, if we are to enjoy and experience awakening. In Moss Lowe's view, self-actualized people can have many peak experiences throughout the day while others have those experiences less frequently. If you epitomize Maslow's findings then you are rather comfortable differentiating truth from bulalagi plus you are quite creative and spontaneous. Besides you shall not be too influenced by society's conventions thus you shall be free to discover and become in a way an enlightened spirit. They meditate and never stop listening even while you work because you are going to develop meditation in motion. Be to awaken one spirit connectedness with all the added benefits requires total annihilation of experiences and teachings learned previously. One must shed all attachments to every living thing and then some. What in fact you are actually doing is stepping aside but with the knowing of relevance. Thus your perspective is aligned with spirit not the human side of you. See one must be as blank as a page and as clear as a sparkling pane of glass in order to appreciate alternative outlooks that shed light on our endless possibilities. Then with new eyes, eyes of the awakened senses, one begins to know what previously was unseen. D. To assist your journey read as many illuminating books by notable authors like Wallace B. Wuttles, James Allen, Allen Watts, Habich Anti, and Street, Germain, Shakespeare, etc. Of course study scriptures with an absolutely open mind guided through discernment and creativity. Remember all scriptures are written symbolically not literally. Thus be wise with discernment. The one remarkable work is found in sacred texts written by Manly P. Hall titled The Secret Teachings of All Ages. This is one of the most illuminating books imaginable and worthy of studying if you truly desire a broader comprehension of the machinations carried on through the centuries and the reasons we are currently brainwashed by irresponsible religions, politicians and industry. 
F. A surprising book I just found through the voice of a 2,000-year-old you titled The Story of You by Guido Mina by S. Ospero is also worth reading. This book is filled with creative philosophies but gives us a compelling account of how humanity has ignored the overall picture of nature at our peril. Gee, what we learn as we awaken is the absolute necessity to address our behaviors towards our planet and if our journey is not self-centered then we shall grow exponentially with the assistance of the entire picture of nature. Working with trees and other plants is highly recommended as is working and spending time with all facets of nature because essentially we are nature, undivided and united in mass A. H to no oneness and accept that there is no such thing as superiority or inferiority but unity is a humongous step towards awakening the full extent of spirit. I we are not awakening our full brain capacity per southeast but unlocking the doors that blocked our communion with universal knowledge. Thus. We merge as it were with divine intelligence and appear as if our brain has woken up but in reality it has become one with divine or universal love. Love is everything. Love is universal intelligence. Thus let us know love. <laughs>